all right guys my life has been life in the last few days that's all i can say um let's get into the story time of the time my car got stolen which was yesterday here in charlotte Put off the brake and don't stare. Okay. Oh. Welcome back to my channel where you can get your dose of MJ. So, as you can see by the title of this hair video, my car got stolen um last week. So, let's get into what happened, how it happened, yada yada yada. So, Charlotte is like almost a mini Atlanta when it comes to these cars getting stolen. Um, but I, I took this L. I took this L. I, I just wanna let y'all know, I took this L. So I went to Food Lions and made sure I had water, um, just random things because the Hurricane Ian was coming from Florida. So shout out to all y'all that are like in Florida suffering from this because hurricanes are no joke. I'm from Virginia Beach. I know. So I just went to go get a pack of water and I don't know, like I swore up and down, I locked my door after I got my water out. Um, I always do. I'm very paranoid when it comes to my, my you know, um, my car, I want to lock it. I don't want anybody to take it. So Friday between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 a.m., Mary's car, Smokey, um, was taken. So I woke up at 5.30 to go to the gym and I was like, I'm not going outside in this weather. So I got up at like 6.45 to look outside and I was like, and I'm probably in a good spot. So the good spots are hard to like, hard to um, come by. So the spot was empty. So I knew my car had just been taken because somebody would have been in that spot. If it like, if my car had been taken between like at nighttime, somebody would have been in that spot by now. So mind you, it's like 6.45, almost seven. And I'm looking like, where is my car? Dude, where is my car? Um, then I was like, maybe my eyes are playing games on me. Cause I could have sworn I parked in this empty spot right here. So I came out here and I got my keys and I went outside on my balcony and I was just like, <laughs> there was no or yum, 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 yum. I hit the alarm. There was no alarm. It was no wheel, wheel, wheel. It was no alarm, y'all. Um, so I'm freaking out. I call my mom. She's over here talking about something. And I'm like, bruh, my car is not outside. I looked around. Mind you, it's raining. It's cold and raining because of the hurricane. I was like, what you mean your car not outside? Bruh, it's not in the spot. I left it. It's not there. It's not. No. So, I got the phone with her. I called the police. The police get here within the next 20 minutes. So, it's like, I'm going to say it's 7.30 now. He get here. I meet him outside because I was about to walk over to, like, I was walking around the, the parking lot, like, hitting the back, like, baby, I moved my car. Y'all, I was out there panicking. I was crying. I was panicking. I was crying. The police came, he took all my information, gave me a report. Well, he didn't give me the report. He gave, I don't know what that noise was. He gave me um, the report number or whatever. So then I called my mom back. She told my aunt, my aunt over there like, Lord, it was my aunt's birthday. So I called her and she was just like, I know that's your baby. And when I got the phone with her, I just broke down and cried again. Cause I'm like, Lord, I don't know what, you, what, what I could do. You in control. I said, Lord, I can't do nothing. I, I can't do anything at this point. Like you're in control. You're going to have to find my car. Well, you know what my car is. You're going to have to bring it back to me. 
one way or another, I'm going to get my car back. So <laughs> I called my, my cousin and she just kept asking questions. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you my car is gone. It's, don't ask me if I left it somewhere. No, my car is gone. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm calling people, I'm telling people, like I'm just hysterical at this point because I'm just like, Smokey is my child. That is my child. I don't have any children at this point in my life, so Smokey is my child. He'll be seven in two months. So, 110k. I was just very grateful. At that point, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna like be over the top. I said I'm mad. I'm angry because I worked so damn hard to get that car. Y'all don't. For y'all that actually have to work for something in life, y'all know. When you get something major like a car, and to some people that's not major, but for, to me, that was major because I remember I was working at hair cuttery and I did not have a clientele, $7.25 an hour, living off tips. I literally got that car with tips, tip money. I saved my money to get me a brand new car, brand new off the lot, had one mile on it, okay? one mouth so when when i say somebody violated me i feel violated because i work my ass off for that fucking car like that's my child don't play with me okay and then and my trunk was my case with my hair stuff clippers trimmers blow dryer um flat iron because I had just came back from Virginia. So my stuff was still in the car. Earlier that week, something told me to get my stuff out of the car. And I was like, no, I'm going to just wait. Trust your intuition. Women, trust your intuition. Because there's something telling you to do something. Go ahead and do it. Don't wait. So what happened was, I'm outside. I go, I walk over to the... um the leasing office and told them they had to fill out an incident report. I'm leaving. One of the maintenance dudes comes up. He's riding on his go the golf cart. Mind you, maintenance dudes at this apartment complex are mad, cool, mad, loyal. Like, they handle everything. And they're cool. They laid back dudes. Like, shout out to them brothers. So, one of them that was just fixing my air the other day he was, he rubbed his, he was like, hey, I was like, good morning. Mind you, I'm sad as hell, I'm mad as hell. Like, I don't have my car, I don't know who took it, I don't know where it is. So, when, when the police was here, I asked him, I said, do they have chop shops and stuff around here? He was like, most of the time it's just teens joy riding. I'm like, smoking in a car to joy ride. He not, he's not a joy riding car. Mm. So I'm walking back and I'm trying to like get into my apartment before I get all the way up like to where I need to be. The the maintenance dude rides up on me. Mind you, I see him at the leasing office. He drove, he drove around, hit that Yui, drove around, came to find me and was like, what's your last name again? What's your last name again? And I was like, I told him and he was like, I got your ID. You got my what? Tell me more. My what? So, this is what the man said. He said, yeah, I found your ID. I said, no, you don't. You don't have my ID. I have my ID. I don't leave my ID and stuff in my car. This man provides this here ID. I don't know if y'all can see it. You see this ID? I kept this from my last employer because... I was like, this is the best ID picture I ever took. Like, I'm keeping it. Y'all, it was, he lived in the back of the complex. These motherfuckers stole my car, drove it to the back of the complex, dumped out the car, the car cover, the chair seats that I just got. My mama just gave me. It was the car cover, chair, the chair covers for my car. They dumped them out. They pulled down my, uh, my tassels from my degrees that I worked damn hard for and I'm still paying for every month. Um, they pulled down, I have beads from when I went to New Orleans with um, Delta. 
they pulled them they pulled them out they was on the ground they yanked them down one of them was from the pancreatic cancer walk that i did with for my dad one year this lady gave it to me and i kept them and i put them on my thing um my new steering wheel cover that i just bought and my yoga mat and my uh my sweet set sweatband now Y'all know I be in the gym at least Monday through Friday with my sweet sweatband. And sometimes I take my yoga mat so I can do my floor exercises. These motherfuckers, and mind you, I had just said, when I called my mom, I was like, dang, they took my workout stuff. I was like, the only thing I got left from my dad is in that car, which was the hat, it says Jesus inside. I keep it in my car for a reason. Um... And then I thought about it. I was like, the serenity prayer that my grandma gave me is on a little card. I was like, that's in my car. Like, it was just certain things that's in my car that I was like, I'm going to need that. Like, I'm going to need, this is stuff that people have given me. I, I keep the most random stuff. So, now, okay, he's giving me my stuff back. I took a picture. He sent a picture to me of what where it was at it was just randomly thrown out they threw out my papers on that ground which was soaking wet because it's still raining and thunder and lightning from the freaking hurricane so they threw out everything everything and any papers with sensitive um information they either have it or they threw it out so i sent that to the police or whatever and mind you the police officer he was mad, cool, mad, nice. Like, he, he was just nice. Um, so, shout out to him. Shout out to Officer Han. I think his name is Han. But, um, I just sat here. I called into work, and I was like, my car was stolen this morning. I literally don't have the mental capacity. She was like, please don't come to work. <laughs> like, <laughs> handle your business. Please don't come to work. So, I'm glad my job was very understanding. Um, I sat here literally for the whole day talking to people, talking to my insurance company. Luckily, I have the same, um, like, renter's policy is with my car. So, I just had to deal with one set of people. Um, and then, like, people are trying to cheer me up. Like, but there's nothing that's going to cheer me up. Like, I work damn hard for that car and I know it's a worldly possession but I worked damn hard for it it was a blessing okay and then I had to just tell myself I said Lord you in control I got a good 110k miles out of my car I said I hope that the people that are driving my car is treating my car with respect I pray that they're not damaging my car. And I pray that, you know, I, and then I also told myself, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I don't have to wish no ill intent on these people. I don't. So, because guess what? The Lord gonna handle it. Can I get an amen from the back? Heard you. So, after me just sitting here sulking, being mad, crying a little bit, being angry, I watched um, the Ring of, Rings of Power calm me down. I was watching random stuff. I get a phone call at 3 a.m. We found your car. Where, where is my car? Where, where is my car? Oh, we found it in South Charlotte. Now, granted, I don't live close to South, South Charlotte. They didn't even leave the city. <laughs> they didn't even leave the city. I filled my tank up the day before because it's a hurricane. For those y'all that don't know, for inclement weather, you always fill your car up just to weigh it down. Um, I filled my car up the day before, and I was like, "Damn, they're gonna run my gas out." Um, but the police was just like, yeah, we found your car. I said, is there damage? Mind you, I'm half asleep. I said, is there damage to my car? It was like, no, it's no damage. Um, we found your key. Now, if you go back to the beginning of this video, I said, I took an L. Myself took an L. I, my silly self, 
my not thinking self um took an L so I had a valet key that I took from my mom because I think I dropped my car off somewhere and I needed I don't know why I needed this valet key but I needed it and I put it in some, like I hid it inside my car somewhere, but I just told y'all, they went through my car. They went through all of my information. They went through everything, found the key, and was just having a good old time with my gas tank. Um, yeah, so the cop didn't tell me to what extent and what happened so i'm thinking they got arrested so he pulled he's like yeah we got your car yada 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 he was like he's like you can come get it right now mind you it's 3 a.m and i'm half asleep how am i get there how how am i get there but um i think that was one of the detectives because they said they had two detectives that only deal with stolen cars so I think one of the detectives was like, yeah, no, we're like um, taking fingerprints now. Um, so you can come get your car. And I was just like, well, I don't have a way to come get it. He was like, all right, well, I'll just take it to the impound or whatever. And you can just get it from there. Okay. So the next morning I called and they was like, yeah, we have your car. It's here and we have your key. I'm just like, y'all just keep telling me y'all got this key. I understand I'm taking this L right now. So, um, I still don't know how they got in my car though. I don't know how they got in. Cause I could have sworn I locked my door. I don't play about locking my door. I listen for the toot toot. toot, toot. So, I don't know, but they got in. And um, I went to the impound. It was like, it's $185 to get your car. So you mean to tell me some teenagers stole my car and I have to pay you to get my car back because they stole it? So you mean to tell me I gotta pay you almost $200 to get my car back? Thank the Lord that the day before was payday because that's it's not right. They was like, oh yeah, you can just um, put it on the claim with your insurance. I called my insurance. They said, well, your deductible 500, so if it ain't a 500 deductible, if it don't meet 500, we ain't paying you nothing. And I'm just like, so that's another thing to remember if some if your car gets stolen. If there's damages to your car or you have to pick your car up from somewhere, if it does not meet or exceed your deductible, you're taking an L. So that's another L I took. Then <laughs> I get in my car, y'all. I don't smoke marijuana. I know plenty of people that smoke marijuana. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't do it. They smoke Smokey out. My car, them is Smokey. He is smoked out. I don't know how much marijuana they had in my car, but baby, my car is booming. I feel like I get a contact high every time I get in my car. I done got it detailed somewhat on a short, like, cause it was a Saturday, so. Everybody detailing on Saturdays. They're already booked up. So I took it to Auto Bell just to get it, get something done. Um, I get in my car from at the impound. I'm sitting there crying because my car is smoked out. There is like, it, it just don't feel like my car no more. So I get in, there's one crop. There's a brush. There's um, roll ups. Um, for those that smoke, they had the little roll ups. Um, or is it called cigarillos? Whatever. I don't know the terminology, but y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it was just a bunch of random shit and an iced tea that was still cold from McDonald's. So, in my mind, I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers got arrested in my car. Y'all. No, no, they didn't. So what happened was I called to get my report yesterday because my insurance was asking about it. I called them and they was just like, oh yeah, um, you, you're getting the public, you know, issued a uh, report. And I'm like, okay, so did they get arrested? He was just like, no, what happened was they pulled, got pulled over 
he was probably doing some speeding or shit in my car. They got pulled over, and as soon as they pulled over, they got out and ran. So that is why I have a croc in my front seat. <laughs> um, that's why their iced tea was still there. Um, it, it was just random shit still in my car. So I see why. And it was in South Charlotte, so... I just told the maintenance dude that found my stuff. He was like, it's only one McDonald's down there that I know about. It's on South Boulevard. And I was like, well, that's I said, the, the guy said it was off of South Boulevard. And he was just like, yup. So, they got away. And the dogs couldn't pick up on the scent because it was raining still. But yeah, like I said, Venus is mine, said the Lord. I... I'm taking precautions, safety precautions, to not have this happen again. Um, I'm speaking into the distance. I won't have to deal with this again. But let me tell y'all how this works with the insurance. You have car insurance for your car. But if you have items in the car that get stolen, you have to deal with your renter's insurance or your home insurance. So, one, lock your doors. That's a tip. Lock your doors. Make sure they're locked. Two, Get a steering wheel lock. Three, get an air tag. <laughs> you know where your car is at all times. Um, four, deal with your insurance. But if you're dealing with your insurance and something happens to your car that doesn't meet your deductible minimum, which is mine is 500, um, they're not gonna pay for it. So you're paying out of pocket for somebody doing damage to you. Um, five, keep your receipts. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I've, I cut hair for a living at one point in my life. And I had blow, a blow dryer. I had a kit in my trunk. Blow dryer, flat iron, whatever. Clippers, trimmers that I just bought. Just bought. Um, yeah, so keep your receipts. My insurance is telling me, well, if you don't have a receipt, do you have pictures of these items? Like anything to showcase that you actually have proof of owning these items. Some of these items, most of these items are a month, over a month old. You really think I got receipts for this? So keep your receipts for those that are in certain professions. If you're not, keep receipts for items in your household. Take pictures of everything. I know that's OCD. It sound it's sounding OCD, but at the same time, you want to be covered. They stole literally like hair stuff is expensive. So, and I've worked over the years to gain these items. Um, they, they stole <laughs> at least 15 to $2,000 worth of items that they're just probably gonna sell and make good money off of because they're all in good condition. So those are the, those are the, five, the five tips that I can honestly say you need to like <laughs> have going forward when you live in a larger city or even just in general stay safe out here to people and i will catch you on the next one I'll be true.